I hope we get to deport some immigrants today. Because, oh man, that fallen angel of gluttony. Seven deadly sins. Not an archbishop. Fallen angel sounds just as cool as showing up. And his powers is kind of OP. Literally just goes, Kun, like he's from Chainsaw Man. And this mouth thing just gobbles people up. And it even like shows up from underneath and can just fall you whole. Tama is... I, it, it's Tama's arc. I hope that she figures something out, but I'm sure Sensei will get hyped up due to the tragedies of what's happening to Tama right now and write a story and like do some crazy power stuff. Let's begin today's reaction. Tama backstory? Brother. I feel like Matilda should have been Leon and Leon should be Matilda, huh? Oh. Yeah, cause like he wants the man to be a man and the lady to act like a lady. But you know, the people are who they are. Literally just retire Leon into femboy maid role. And then uh, Matilda can be the tomboy fucking uh, princess battle queen. I don't know. <laughs> Let her be, man. <laughs> Mother? <laughs> Also, I just realized there's no opening today, huh? Because the credits are rolling, so it's going to be one of those episodes today. And then skip. Yeah, don't even fucking tell me. And then what she told us will be a callback later in an important moment when Tama might die, but then flashback, and then she clutches. Okay. Do I remember a lightning attack? I remember him just using Kon, but okay. <laughs> Holy shit. No, no, cuz, no, 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 cuz the people he ate, he gets those powers, right? That's what happened last time, right? And I think I made a comment how OP this shit is. He, he ate something, then like his body got like hardened. It was like an armor as well, right? So like he gets the powers that he eats. Yeah, that's literally dad's powers. That's literally dad's lightning. Exactly. Jesus key. Honestly, a power named after one of the seven deadly sins does kind of live up to the hype. I thought it was just, again, just like the, the Kon thing, but I forgot last episode. He did use, like, properties of things that he has already consumed. So he gets the skill and... What is it? He gains increased abilities depending on the flesh I eat. And then he also can get those skills as well. That's kind of poetic. Sensei should be literally beside her saying, <laughs> How poetic that you're going to be killed by your own father's skill, who you're trying to save right now. This is great. And then it gets him all excited and the deporting powers, you know, it works. And no opening because the credits rolled. Such an aggressive cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> She's just leaving Tama alone. Mom's room. Raiding mom's room. We're looting the dead mom's room right now. Amazing sensei. <laughs> Valiant warrior, will you, you know, pickpocket this lock and help me break in and loot the dead mom? <laughs> that was easy. 
お手柄だよニア君ニアニア君 I'm losing character name sorry who is ニア in this context nicely done ニア君 and he sees a book is it one of the、uh, council members of the beast kingdom oh just a boy oh <laughs> Oh, it's that simple. I thought there was something deep about this book. I thought there was like a rearrange, like a pre arranged plan to have this book ready, and it was ne- never mind. Never, it's just a fucking log picking. <laughs> <laughs> It's very against it. <laughs> to live up to my father's ideals. You got that work ethic. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. Yo, this soundtrack is actually so sad and good. I'm telling you, Kenichiro Suehiro, bro, the dude that did the soundtrack for this, Eminence in Shadow, and Re Zero that we're watching right now, it just hits. He just knows how to make melodies that just like hit me in the feels. <laughs> Dude, the piano riffs, the strings. <laughs> Alright, let's get his backstory. We gotta learn, like, what was he all about before he got Isekai? All the fruitless things, because, like, everyone here is just a piece of shit, right? It's just, like, the worst of the worst is all fucking gathered. Straight up, every Isekai character in this show is, like, some sort of degenerate fucking Avenger shit. Villa? Holy! Born with a diamond spoon in his mouth. Bro dies naked. I'm surprised he even fucking wheels the utensils. The maids and the butler should be feeding it to you, bro. He truly is gluttony, huh? A man that was given everything at birth, so he feels so unfulfilled because he never had to work for anything. This, like, empty, hollow hunger, truly. Like, this is like the problems of rich people, man. But, like, obviously, <laughs> this guy's problem isn't can I pay rent the next month or be homeless, right? Obviously, poor people kind of have way more problems, but, like, If, you're, if you get to this level where all your material needs are settled, now it's all like psychological. You ask, of like, what is my purpose? Why do I exist? Nothing makes me happy anymore. Because, like, you haven't earned anything. Everything's been given to you, and until you create and earn something that you're proud of, you can never be fulfilled. <laughs> Did he start eating people? What happened? Yo, maids! <laughs> okay, good. Okay, they paid her really well. It's not, I mean, I don't think the money's gonna really fucking fix her trauma. Poor girl. Man, the wife is so hot. Yeah, she just looks like that evil rich bitch, huh? That super entitled, like that Quinella look. I love it. Oh, it's his literal bathrobe from before, too. I thought it was like his new. Dr- yeah, I guess he got transported in that bathrobe. 
So that means that purple man thong is still on him right now. This is the only thing he wears. So in this episode, there's an opportunity where he gets fucked up and his clothes gets all ripped up and he's just in the fucking purple thong. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Come on, man. What a piece of shit. And you know what? A little, little bit of a headcanon. A little, little bit of my own philosophies being uh, injected in here. Do you know why he did that? Because the homeless guy who has nothing, who's enjoying his first meal, this instant cup ramen that costs nothing compared to the expensive meals. This dude right now felt more fulfillment and happiness eating this food than this guy ever will with any luxurious food. Again, even if you're super, super rich, if you can't fill that like void in your heart, like you're gonna fucking just feel empty. Chakun! Oh, he was happy about that. That's raw. Yo. He might have the initial D in his name. Those who laugh and smile in the face of death. Where is Sensei? He should be getting hyped up about like, Oh, perfect. You were such a fucking scumbag. A useless piece of shit that got born into all these privileges. Amazing. Tell me more. But he's too busy with the diary back at the Queen's place. Boring story? Hold the fuck up. Amazing entrance, but boring story. I thought the more sad and pathetic a person's story is, like, the more interested he gets, but he just called this whole backstory trash. Oh, this soundtrack. This soundtrack here, bro. This soundtrack so peak. Why does it not move against Sensei? The fuck? Why is it scared? It's paused? I don't know. Suicide hockey. You heard about suicide risk so far. This is suicide hockey. My man fears nothing. The pure aura is intimidating his powers. It's telling him, I shouldn't do this. I will lose. Also the poison, right? <laughs> Deport them immigrants! No, I don't think he will. He called them pathetic. I think we're getting our subversions ex like, uh, diverted, right? Sorry, we're getting our expectations subverted. So like, he finds maybe Tama, the queen story more tragic, right? The queen story, the whatever's in the diary must be more tragic than Kaibara's story. Oh. Story yeah. <laughs> Denied. What Annette's doing there with her hand there is what I want to do to... It's even funnier because we've been just on the whole pedophile fucking cruci uh what's it called um crusade recently with like Mushoku Tensei and Rizu comparison. <laughs> Slap Rudy Faith on their room. <laughs> Peak soundtrack. <laughs> Mm, what did she say? Hold up. This is my fault, she says. 
Is this her pride? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm reaching. I, I'm, I'm reaching right now. But it sounds like Tama is putting all the blame on herself and her inaction. Maybe this is a little bit of sloth, right? If you're not stopping, then that's like sloth, right? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> nah, you gotta work together. It's not your own fault. No, it's not. Would have been funnier since they pulled out a bottle of fucking Hennessy. <laughs> I don't know why this part kind of reminds me of One Piece arc in Arlong Park where Nami says, Luffy. Please help me! I got you. Here. The Queen's Chamber! The Diary! Alright. Yeah, cause this story is more tragic than the gluttony guy. Mr. Gluttony is just gonna let us read? Alright. Mm -hmm. No, we're not deporting Tama. We're not deporting Tama. Wait, wait, wait. You can't deport a citizen. Wait a minute. What are we doing right now? Dude, we're so close to him just like thong. <laughs> I just think it'd be hilarious if he had his fucking thong showing right now amongst this danger. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that is like the divide, right? Where she wanted to make sure the father felt okay by trying to fill this like role that she honestly shouldn't be doing. And now it's creating this tension where the father wants you to be just like live your own life. Well, now I think about it, it's about, that's about living your own life because she wants to be that tomboy type, right? So it's less, it's, it's more of like the father's reluctance to accept, you know, Tama, but she also can't just replace Leon. <laughs> This poor guy. He's like, did you really just break into my wife's room? My dead wife's room. Break into that fucking cellar, that, that, that lock. And now you're psychoanalyzing my family in this situation? Are you serious? What she said, right? The flashback, there was a whisper scene, you know, and then we cut off during the intro scene. So now, what did she say? By faking my death? With your brother? No, wait, 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 convi- Okay. That's true, right? Everyone just wants her to be happy. I feel like it's neither. You shouldn't be the ideal prince. You're not trying to replace Leon. You are your own person. And neither should you, you know, listen to your father and be the nice lady person you're not. You should just be Tama. Fuck these different roles. Split through the middle. Just be Tama. <laughs> Is this Sensei's domain? <laughs> That's right. Your role is just dragging my fucking coffin. <laughs> you are literally my driver. That's right. <gasps> Are we seeing a different property of Storyteller? 
So maybe Sensei can also buff. Like, what is this golden aura? Because, like, we've seen him deport the guy before. But this time, used on an ally. Hmm. What Oh no, father was eavesdropping the entire time. Machiruda no de ni hikari ga yadoru da. Oh. Kiken kara tozakita ishin de. Ano kono tempo no. So when he says he locked it away, I don't think he manually tried it, right? I think that he's saying his presence, right? It's like because he was there and because of her current relationship, she did not want to use the divine beast sign gift or whatever. And now it's coming back, right? Hey, this is great family therapy, though. <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> Who's gonna tell him, bro? Are we going to get our happy ending? Bring right, wrong enemy. Okay, stop. 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 <laughs> this is the second time, bro. What are you saying, bro? Because, yeah. like, his entire thing is, like, he hated himself back then, too. Back in real world. He viewed himself as livestock. And now he sees himself as, like, an apex predator who is, like, you know, uh... Uh, praying to livestock? No, it's, it's just all bullshit. He's just trying to fill a hole that can never be filled because he's going about it the wrong way. Okay. You can bounce back. Wait. This line is straight up Beyblade right now. Literally, this was the line of thinking when the Immortal Phoenix was getting drowned by Doji's domain expansion and then the threat of hope, even in despair, power of friendship, bro. <laughs> this is just straight up that logic right now. Who gonna tell him? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being mean. Of course, it's all like, you know, please guide them in your afterlife. <laughs> you know what they're they asking to show up, bro. Yo, whenever you have like these magic circles, con multiple concentric circles like layering on top of each other, look at this shit. He just got a train run on it. Oh, God. Yo, why is this animation better than Uruk Majino and Beal? Genuinely. This is a random fucking anime that showed up out of nowhere. Why the fuck does this have better animation than Tower of God, right? I don't get it. I don't get- I- What the fuck? Yeah, the studio that's doing this is amazing, man. I love Isekai Shikaku. I still think of everyone here, the dad has the sluttiest outfit of everybody, bro. Genuinely. Like, you think like like you think fan service? Look at that! Look at this guy! Look what he's wearing or not wearing! <laughs> yeah, the shit you stole from my family, my wife's diary. How the fuck am I supposed to ask for permission from someone that's dead, father? I also broke into her room and that fucking drawer. Sensei too cool, man. Huh? Yeah, the divine beast 
Incomplete. Oh, Tama still has more to strive for. The true power level has not been shown yet. Hmm? Whoa! Phase two! Never mind! Oh. We got a phase two! Let's go! Who's the one? Why thoughts? So he was dead, but he got revived now. The color of his eyes is different. The skin complexion is different. Someone else's powers? I wonder. Hmm. And I'm not sure what he fused with. I think he, I mean, if you look at the mouth here, it looks like that cone thing, you know, the teeth that showed up. But I, I'm not so convinced that this is gluttony but more like someone else's powers? Unless he has some sort of insurance power where you go to phase two. It just feels like the work of someone else. He got revived, right? Who revived him? <laughs> right, and this guy was the demon lord, right? We can see Gluttony here. This is Sachan. This butler dude was with Sachan swinging his uh, wine glass, you know, while everyone was out. So I'm going to assume that he probably is the leader, but I don't know. One of them resurrected? Oh! <laughs> apex predator this time. Not a predator, apex predator. Hide your kids! Hide your wives! Eh? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! That's the daughter! That's the daughter! What? Eh? She's back? Dark Lord's daughter. And she's so hyped too. Man, it was a CGI dragon this time, but it's still fun. It's still better than most dragons. Wadelia was her name, right? Goddamn! Yeah, she is! Sensei is so interested in her, right? Because what is the whole point of Isekai Shikaku? For Sensei to go around and understand other people's backstories, and the more tragic, the more fucked up it is, the more inspired he is. And Waldelia, literally the tragic heroine of this show, daughter of the Dark Lord, who got assassinated by, like, these shitty people. I know they're supposed to be Isekai heroes, but, like, I'm sure Sensei finds her so interesting because of her tragic backstory. <laughs> It's a very good question. Not yet. There are six more sins to kill. Wonder if she's just gonna show up every time we're against like a fallen angel. And she shows up at the end and does the same shit and leaves. I think that we can be allies, man. I feel like we can work together. <laughs> Some goofy ass fucking One Piece shit where they see Buggy the Clown fucking talking to like Shanks casually. Oh my god! Did you just see him? Whoa. The gluttony guy? No, 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 no. It's not over yet because that's not the only person, right? That's not the only person that killed the father. I think there's more, right? Nah, bro. Tama coming with us. I don't believe it. Tama's gonna fucking run out with us and it's gonna be like, What? What are you doing here? I'm Tama, not a princess. I'm Tama. So, deska. Don't try to... Don't try to pretend like it's happening. Uh-oh. Even though it seems like he's being mean, I think he's saying this to, like, push her to, like, go travel with 
sensei. I think so. It's like a tsundere way of trying to support her. See? Yes, softy. Just don't know how to say it, right? I hope that's not a flag. <laughs> I hope that's not some sort of flag. Bad thing happening? Hmm. Oh! Aw? The way that she snowed? I know that she loves to hang upside down. We saw her as a kid doing that. It's not ladylike, I understand, but it's just like, damn, what the fuck? This fan service is insane. Ending credits rolling. How long were you listening for? Oh, it's his master? I thought this was just his like servant or attendant. That's his fucking martial arts master? That's why he knew about the king's fucking move or special move. I straight up thought he was just like a servant, like a butler or some shit. <laughs> Drag him! You have no talent for dragging a coffin. We need Tama back. Yep, Tama needs to replace Nia. Talent? <laughs> no knack for dragging. And it's good at it. Hey, let's go, Annette. Annette loves the compliments. <laughs> the audacity. He knows. She's coming. <laughs> Happy ending! Rejoin the party. What a wonderful episode of Isekai Shikaku. Yep, as soon as I saw no openings, and as soon as the credits start to roll, it's like, yep, it's gonna be one of those episodes. Tama, in terms of, like, the combat she was doing, bro, this animation went fucking hard. It's actually sad that, like, no... No slander, no shade to Isekai Shikaku for making the comparisons to Urekamajino versus Veal, but like, I feel like that shit is supposed to be a turning point, and this is just like a random event that's happening to an anime I just found, and it is kind of crazy how much the studio loves Isekai Shikaku. I love it. The soundtrack is fucking hitting, the animation's steady hitting, the plot is very unique, the whole backstory with the gluttony guy, so twisted, so messed up, doing it in a purple thong even funnier. And the sensei shows up and says, nah, your story trash. The real sad story is of Tama and how the father wanted Tama to be a specific type of girl, right? But Tama felt like she had to fill a role that she was never supposed to do. And the mom's saying, you should just be Tama. You're not Matilda. Just be Tama, right? Don't be this like lady princess. Be the adventurer, fighter, tomboy you are. And now she got the father's blessings to, you know, go travel and even become a martial arts master before we come back. Sensei's powers, now we know a little bit more. I am not completely sure how he activated the King Beast signal, whatever, the Divine Beast Crest, but clearly this is a buff. Sensei can do a psychoanalysis on an, an, an enemy or his allies, and after he reads the story, right, if it's like an ally to get buff, if it's like an enemy, we can just deport their ass, and this guy didn't get deported. He just died. <laughs> he just said, nope. We ain't taking no prisoners. We ain't deporting nobody. The fucking Waldelia, the daughter of the demon lord, shows up and just ends him. So, she only went into phase two because he ate the flesh of the dark lord. I wonder if this is going to be a mechanic that existed for every other party, right? Because there's six more, right? Six fallen angels to represent their other six sins. Wonder if they also ate and can do phase two, but not so for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.